you think that the Mallee is ready for a new chapter of Fairfax, like one that is, like it's the same but different? Moving away from the school's model, like just for this year, it's kind of like showing us that we can, we can do more with Fairfax. There's a lot of voices out there. We want to hear some more stories. We have to embrace this new sort of digital pathway that we're all kind of going down now that COVID has brought us. And it's just uh, making it way more accessible. There's no issues with people having to travel to gain access to mentorship and workshops and learning and creating with each other. And like just being in a space with a bunch of young people your own age and making something together. Like that that's all possible online now. Like it seems like COVID's limiting us, but then in other ways it's opening doors and forcing us to rethink the way we can do Fairfax. And I honestly think that it's a more inclusive, accessible outcome. We can take this flexibility further, like as the years go on. It'll be nice to be able to get Fairfax out to a wider audience because we've got a few Cool kids here you know like yeah I just want to like broadcast it out to a bigger audience. Every young person in the region has experienced something this year that they can reflect upon and what better way to be able to reflect on that experience than with each other over this virtual community that we're creating and where they can learn to turn that into a performance piece and then potentially into a film as well which just showcases how incredible the Murray Mallee is and we're going to share that with the world and bring industry to that area. I just think that's a really exciting possibility as well. Ten hours of uh, mentorship so that's all over Zoom. So everything is completely online and can be done from the comfort of your own home, wherever you can get an internet connection. And in that time, it involves you to do a bit of reflection on uh, your interests and what you're passionate about and things that you want to talk about and being able to craft those things into a story and learn how to communicate really interesting and engaging stories just through your own life. So it takes a, a bit of writing and a bit of performance practice. You know, each Fairfax artist will then tell their own story. And that might sound like either simple or complicated, depending on who you are and, and where you're at. But what we've got is really great tools and workshops and experience to help you do that. Like what I know about that is everybody has a story to tell. Whether you, you know what it is today or not, that's a whole other thing. Like, if you don't know, we'll work with you to find it and we'll find it together. And so like next year, we're going to present like this big broadcast jamboree of stories from across the region. but. I think that ultimately it's about uh, creating something for next year that's beautiful and is like the best edition of Fairfax yet. Think outside the box of that. So Em, it's not just about performance. Like it might just be that, you know, your, your son or your daughter or your, your cousin or, you know, the kid in the football club who also loves drawing or, or making music. Or... Anything that's like remotely creative can somehow connect with Fairfax. Parents, teachers, like friends just tap your mates on the shoulder if you reckon that they could do this because really like everyone's got a story to tell everyone can have a go everyone can apply em you did fairfax for many years when you were at school and now you're you know running the show what was the like what was the biggest thing that you got out of it um i think the the main things would be like being yourself um, and creating cool things and working with nice people. Um, and that still translates into like this year's edition of Fairfax. I always come back to Fairfax all the time. I'm like, no matter where I am in the world or what I'm doing, I always think Fairfax is like the most important thing. It really is. I love it. I'm excited. Yes, couldn't agree more. Word, respect. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could apply. <laughs>